sorry for the long intro. I was having a problem getting my camera to connect for whatever reason. But uh, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you guys have not uh, been to this channel before, please take a minute, smash the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. So I am going to be painting an eye today. Now, yesterday I was able to paint from a very high quality and, you know, high resolution image. Today, I am going to be painting from one of the blurriest images I was sent. Uh, so it is going to be a bit of a challenge for me. I'm also painting a child's eye. So please keep that in mind. Uh, let me try to get this up on the screen uh, if I can. But uh, if you guys are interested in uh, volunteering for the eye project, this is all the information you will need. So uh, first and foremost, the email address to email me if you are volunteering is tswgstudios.iproject at gmail.com. What to include in the email is a photo of your eye. And remember the clearer, the higher resolution, the photo, the better. Uh, there are some examples on screen in this chart that I have made. Uh, let me know the name you would like me to use for the painting uh, and the name of the live stream. That way, you guys, if you want to watch it later, you can find it. Uh, let me know your eye color because sometimes colors look different in different lighting. And then uh, also, please, 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 please do not wear any makeup, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, the photo will look much better if you are not wearing any. And then also, it's not up here. I do need to make an updated chart, but uh, let me know what color leafing you would like. I have gold, copper, or silver, and then I have the, you know, the regular kind or the vintage looking one. The one that is in the example is the gold vintage type. So that was uh, my little my little intro for that. I'll also, if you guys have a social media you would like me to tag, let me know that as well. Uh, but hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to put a poll up in the chat. Let me see. Uh, what should the poll be about today? What do you guys think? Mm. What should today's poll be about? Um, let's see. Oh, Jeremy Seven Alpha, thank you for the super sticker, and it says a hundred. Oh, thank you. spam. All right. So this is going to be the poll for today. Have you seen Star Wars Visions yet? Yes. No, uh, not yet, but planning on it or no and not going to. So that is going to be the poll for today. Uh, I am in the middle of doing a video for the first episode of Star Wars Visions. I think I'm going to do one for uh, every episode. And uh, yes, nobody get mad at me. Magical Bay of Pirates. I'm very good friends with Patchy. So just be aware of that before you guys kind of get uh, get upset with me. Don't worry. I'm not paying for it. I'm not paying for Disney Plus, nor would I pay for Disney Plus. So just be aware of that before you kind of lose your minds. Uh, my review is getting kind of long, though. It's about 22 minutes right now. Uh, so that I think will come out sometime tomorrow. So yeah, but uh, let's uh, let's get going on this painting. Also, if you guys haven't already, please, please, please smash the like button. Really helps out my channel and the algorithms. Also, nice to see so many people here today. Maybe it is helpful that I'm uh, doing this earlier in the day. Now, I just realized I need to find uh, that phone that I record with because I thought it was in here, but it is not. So where is that? I just I feel like I just had it and now I can't find it. That's story of my life, right? I thought it was in here. I don't see it. I might have to run into the other part of the house to grab it so uh, I could play you guys another video. 
if you would like. Yeah, I'm not seeing it in here. I think I had it in my purse, which is by the front door. So I might have to run inside. So I apologize again. I'm going to play you guys uh, a little video. I'm going to have to switch it over to my my main one. So let's listen to uh, Carrie Fisher talk about Star Wars, why I go run inside and uh, get uh, grab my other phone. Carrie, you play in this film uh, what I might describe as a, a damsel in distress, but a very unusual one in that you seem to be a very liberated, outspoken damsel. Is that what actually appealed to you about the part? Well, it was... What appealed to me was that George Lucas, who wrote it and also directed it, uh, didn't want a damsel in distress, didn't want your stereotypical princess, you know, sort of a victim, frightened, uh, incapable of dealing with a situation without the guys. So uh, he wanted a fighter. He wanted someone who was independent. And uh, that's what appealed to me about that part, yeah. When you read the script, which I imagine was several years ago now, what was your reaction? Because it is... I'm sure then it must have seemed, to some extent anyway, a pretty bizarre kind of film. Well, I wanted to know what the lunch breaks were going to be like, <laughs> you know, when they said cut, and here you were sitting around with three-headed monsters and people with hair dryer heads and so on. But it was a terrific script, because they had to budget the film like a low-budget film. It, they call it the most expensive low-budget film ever made. They had to put, plan every shot, because... Uh, it was good. They were going to have to devise all sorts of new things for the special effects. They only had, and I say only, but for special effects, it's not much. Ten million, uh, three million dollars. It's a ten million dollar film, which is the same as what two thousand one cost ten years ago. They devised a whole new method for shooting the special effects, which was uh, computerized, and they would have a memory, and it would it would just shoot the thing on a, against a blue screen a, over and over for about a year to perfect all of the things, the blowing up of certain portions of the planets and so forth it took a long time to do all that so with m they Miniature used models models and yeah. and shot each individual movement separately yes like rather like a cartoon is made in, in a sense yes now as well as working with robots and strange sort of creatures um you also get involved in some very hairy death defying scenes yourself don't you I'm thinking yeah. in particular when you when you fly across that chasm with with uh, the handsome hero Luke. How did you feel about that? I mean, I presume you did it, did you? It mm -hmm. was you. It was me. I don't want to brag or anything, you know. <laughs> no, it was difficult to do because it was about 30 feet up, and uh, they had a brace on Mark and Mark Hamill who plays Luke, and one on me connected to him, and they put two cameras up, and first they hung us from the ceiling to check check the durability of the rope or the actors I don't know Show which. Me. <laughs> and the crew made fun of us we just hung there helpless and then we did the swing across and I was very frightened and we did it and I liked it but we did it right now I've heard this film described in all sorts of ways all right I'm back I found it and I set it up but uh let's let's uh Let's get going into this. I feel like it's still too bright on here. So let me adjust the lighting again for everyone. Sorry about this. <sighs> One of those days, guys. I hope you guys are having a good day. My day has been kind of like all over the place, I feel. There we go. All righty. Let's start mixing. Start mixing some paint. This is my palette that I used yesterday. Now, this is a very, again, bright blown out photo very very low resolution uh so i'm gonna have to do a lot of guessing in certain areas so that's why i can't stress enough the higher the resolution the better the painting is going to turn out so uh, let me just for an example like show you so that's it's kind of what i'm working with today very different versus uh what i have the previous couple of days. So let's get some of this. right here over the uh, 
how that will mix the brown of the eye maybe a little bit different than usual I hope everyone is having a good day today. Like so much to do, so little time today. I didn't even realize that it was a two thirty, and I had set that like like one one twenty six. I think is when I set my timer, or like when I was creating the stream, and I was like, "Oh yeah, two thirty will be plenty of time for me to finish what I'm working on." It was not. I still have a little bit left, but only a little bit. I've been trying to like on my main channel just to do videos that are just audio recording and I put either like articles or images up. And so I need to get a bunch of images from this uh, visions episode that I'm reviewing because uh, the thing that I, uh, you know, the magical Bay of Pirates that I watched it on with Patchy um, kind of has like a a thing across it so I can't really use it so I'm like oh, I gotta go find all these images for all of it uh Mike likes tacos saying this is a bit hi Anna I want to make Cheshire cat for my niece's b-day any advice for plywood as a medium ceiling ceiling paint type plan to cut two shapes and hang in a tree thanks um well if you're talking to a very lazy person there, I feel like if you just go on Facebook Marketplace, because I look for plush uh, on there all the time, there's plenty of like people that sell like the cutouts, or you could just go to Party City. I mean, I'm lazy. I would just put a smile and eyeballs, but that's me. Uh, I don't really work with plywood. At that point, if you want, it depends. It's like, do you want something high quality or do you want something cheap and fast? If you want something cheap and fast, just go get your basic acrylic paint and paint brushes and I guess get plywood and cut it. That's, I mean, that's what I would do if it doesn't really matter with like the quality of it. Um, I think that's all I really need to mix for the paint. So let's see. Yeah. Cause this is all still wet. I can just use everything that I used yesterday. So let's move on to the actual painting. Let me pause this on my phone. I don't really need to record that. <laughs> Let me get the canvas. Wow, where did I put it? Okay, let's do this. But uh, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no. Now, if you want it to come off as a child, you'll, uh, it's typically better because the problem with children is that you can make them look like old people very quickly. So just a rule of thumb, if it, if you are uh, drawing or painting a child, is just make their eyes a little bit bigger. And that's how you can differentiate a child from like an elderly person.
Right, here we go. This is his little eyebrow. Now I'm assuming that this kid is like maybe six or seven. Could be even younger, maybe even five. But uh, that's all I really need to do for the line art. <laughs> Here we go. This is probably going to be the fastest painting I do. Ah. <sighs> well, let's see. Where is my paintbrush? I'm looking for the one when I was out here. No? Where the heck is it? Where did I put it? Hmm. I'm looking for a very specific paintbrush. I don't think so. I'll use this one. So this, this photo also has a filter, which I would not recommend using. Um, you kind of don't know what kind of uh, rules you need to make until you get started and people send you stuff. So again, I need to make like an updated uh, chart for the eye project. Uh, if you see like people that have had like where I've had to paint like with the makeup or the photos like this where it's like very low resolution and with a filter... Uh, that's because they sent it to me before I had the criteria up. So, I mean, because they made it in before, I am obviously doing it. But for everyone in the future, like, don't remember, high, higher quality, the better. Uh, don't wear makeup and don't have a filter. Rules to go by. Actually, the next person that volunteers for the eye project will be number 100 which is very exciting. Uh, it's cool that like so many people have volunteered. And I know that people have, uh, they want, um, whatchamacallit, they're, you know, kind of nervous about this or excited. I know, you know, a lot of people have said like, well, you paint like dog's eyes. I think I might actually make my next like project, you know, doing portraits of dogs or like pets and stuff. So I think that might be fun just to do like a quick, you know, study of like painting animals. And that way you don't really have to worry about, you know, doxing yourself in any way because it would be like a portrait of an animal. I haven't gotten a chance to listen to more of my audiobook yet. So I'm like, been looking forward to that. I have so much stuff to do these next couple of days. So I'm just like grinding like crazy. It's crazy. It's about to be October too. I'm like, yee, my birth month is approaching. Those that don't know, I'm an October baby. Parents got busy on Valentine's Day and I was like, nah, like, Bring me into the world, Mom and Dad. It's funny. My parents got married in Tahoe. My mom told me that she was really, really sick. And my dad was like, you just don't want to marry me. She's like, no. She's like, I'm really sick. And then when they got home, she's like, oh, I found out why I'm sick. You knocked me up. And then nine, or maybe you think nine or eight months later, I was like, hello, world, I'm here. I told my dad, like, greatest day of your life. I came into the world, old man. 
and I was a brown little monkey child, and I matched my dad. My mom told me, because she's, you know, blonde hair, pale green eyes. My mom looks like Elsa from Frozen. She thought she was going to have a little blonde baby, and my mom, when I was born, she's like, she doesn't look like me. It's like, well, no shit. <laughs> you got knocked up by a Portuguese. Of course I'm going to be brown like my dad. So she's thinking she's going to have a blonde little baby like my brother was, and she has a little monkey child. That is me. So it's like in my like my baby video, like her and all of her friends are like, wow, she's so dark. And it's like, what, what, what else were you expecting? <laughs> you spawned with a Portuguese. So I think it's funny when I watch like my baby video, like the shock in my mother's voice at what I looked like. I was like, well, geez, thanks, mom. It's like, she's not blonde. She doesn't look like me. It's like, well, baby came out of you. So it's definitely yours, you know? I just, I look like my dad. And then when my sister was born, everyone's like, oh, she's so much lighter than Anna. It's like, uh, yeah. But Peaches was telling me it's like, a, it's like a biological thing that like the first, the firstborn will always look like the dad. It's like a primitive thing to let like the, the guy know that it's his kid. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Because Peaches' daughter looks a lot like him, except she has her mother's nose. Her, uh, her mom's Peruvian, so she got the Peruvian nose, not the Portuguese nose. She, mm, but she looks so much like Peaches. It's funny. Kind of like how I'm my dad's first kid, so I look just like my dad. I like looking like my dad, though. I like. It's nice. I, my sisters would always get sunburned, and I'd be like, ha, 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 I don't get sunburned. I got the Portuguese jeans. My pale little sisters are just, like, burning in the sun. <laughs> it's convenient for me.
You hear that wonderful dog barking? It decided to do that all night last night. Very fun. I don't know if you guys can actually hear that or not. I definitely can. So whenever you have brown eyes, they always have this like blue rim kind of around them. You guys hear that wonderful barking? Fun times. Mm, ready. <sighs> Can you guys tell that this is a, a kid?
Can I ask you guys, if you guys are subscribed to this channel, did you actually get like a notification that was I was live or did you find out because I posted it on my Twitter and on my Facebook and my on my other uni, uh, YouTube channel community tab? I just want to kind of see like if this channel actually like sends out notifications and stuff. Got notification. Got you did notification. It's been working three to four times in a row that I can remember. Oh, cool. I got a notification when I clicked the bell icon. I saw a YouTube notification, saw a subscription page. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's weird. On my main one, it's like I get notifications for channels I'm not even subscribed to. It's weird. It's like, we think you might want to watch this. And I'm like, no. No, I don't want to watch that. Don't, like, it's always, like, political, like, news content. And I'm like, no, fucker, I don't want to watch that shit. It's like, you don't know me at all, you bastards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Now, a lot of this detail is just being made up by me from like guessing from looking at this. Because again, this is a very uh, low res photo I'm working from. So it's all just kind of like approximations that I'm making.
<laughs> oh, I see I have another super chat. Thank you, by the way. Um, Mike likes talk of things about things, Anna. I was thinking plywood because paper and acrylic would probably blow away. Yeah, don't use paper. Uh, we have some paper playing cards under the construct under construction right now. Oh, that sounds cool. It sounds like it's gonna be a dope uh birthday party. Let me zoom in. There you guys go. Better view for you. All right, let's get back to this little kid. I'm going straight in with white to highlight certain areas. Just enhance it a little bit. It'll give it a softer. too much paint on there. Okay, let's start doing some pairs.
<laughs> you guys hear that? My neighbors are doing, uh, I have the guys over do, mowing their lawn and shit. They used to do it uh, on Saturday mornings at 8 in the fucking morning. And me and Peaches wanted to murder them. <laughs> We're like, you motherfuckers. Got leaf blowers and lawn mowers going at 8 in the fucking morning on a Saturday. It, it was fucking ridiculous. Oh. Oh no. So this weekend I'm helping out uh Vic with his he's doing like a a signing like a fan meetup signing event at this uh what is it called? Awesome collectibles or something or amazing collectibles down here in SoCal. And uh whatchamacallit? Needed a couple people, so I asked uh Sab if she could help out and she said yeah. She's just confirming times and stuff with me. Uh, Billy saw Vic last weekend. Anna came up in conversation. Billy said Vic was full of praise. Oh, that's nice. And you're working at the store. No, I'm not working at the store. I'm helping Vic out with his thing. Yeah, um, Vic is a huge Star Trek fan, so he and I bonded over Star Trek at uh, Anime Mont. Sorry. Vic's a really nice person. It was funny. It was... Uh, Vic and his mom, I thought that was so nice that his mom came to conventions. I was like, I can pay my mom to come to this kind of stuff. Actually, my mom likes going out and like meeting people and partying. So she might go now, but when I was younger, she couldn't get her to take me to conventions. Now, if it was sports, that's a different story. My mom loves sports.
Jeez, dang it. That's not good. I gotta fix this. You guys think this looks like a little kid?
It looks like your eye, really, Maya doesn't have this curve to it like this kid does. Also, my eye's not brown, my eyes are hazel. There's this weird spot on here. I don't like it. I don't know what it is though. Oh, that makes it go away. It's too big. Okay, a little smaller. All right, I'm done. <laughs> now again, this is a very low, uh, low resolution image, so I had to guess a lot. But uh, there we go. Oh, 
looks like this kid has a freaking black eye. There you go. Less like a black eye. All right, let me edit this over here. Ugh. Well, that was fast. I guess that's kind of what happens when you do a uh, something low resolution you don't have much to work with so uh, it forces you to be a little bit more creative with less all right let me edit this in here All right, let's uh, upload this. I'll just upload it onto Instagrams. Hmm. I need to find out what kind of uh which we'll call it leaving they wanted uh jeremy sabinalva thank you for the super sticker and it's a thumbs up well thank you i appreciate it i see a majority of people are not going to be watching star wars visions which is understandable will you guys still watch my review of it i'm gonna do an episode by episode review i think
I'm watching your review and said, oh, well, thank you. All right. Let me get this up so I can share my screen. So if you guys are not following me over on my art account, uh, go ahead and do so. This is my art Instagram. Let me just post this here. You guys go. So this is uh, the painting. This was, uh, you know, yesterday's. Here's today's. So here you guys go. Hmm. All of that <laughs> into this. Oh, the time. Crazy how you could take something like that you spend an hour on and condense it down to a few seconds. I really like the time lapse feature on the phone because it makes that so handy. What do you guys think? Here, I'll exit out so you can just see the, the image of it. What do you guys think? Get the link for this if you guys want to watch it yourselves. Yeah. Looks fab. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Well, that uh, that kid is done, and tomorrow I'm going to be painting, I believe, his mother's eye. Hers is a very low resolution with the same type of filter as well. She has a, like, a very large upper eyelid, which is going to be fun to paint. I can actually, like, see the skin tones in that a little bit more. But again, it's a filter, so it's going to be a little bit more red. Uh, so it's up to you on if you like that or not. So, yeah, but, um, again, I'm trying to cut back on how, how many streams I do in a day just because I do get uh, a little burned out. And so I still need to be able to function and do things and I still need to make content for my main channel. So I have a few other things to do today and then, uh, as well as finishing editing and well, I have a little bit left to record on the, the review for visions episode one. So that video will be out on my main channel sometime tomorrow. I'm debating on if I want to release it at 6, 7, or 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. That way it's uh, easier for people on the East Coast to, you know, get a little bit earlier. So I'm debating on that and what time I'll release it. I'll figure out that, that out once I'm done uh, editing that video. So that video will be out tomorrow, hopefully. I'm planning on it. And then... Uh, I have a few other videos that aren't like really, how would I say this? Like the usual type of content I do on my main channel. What I'm actually, I'm going to do like the rogue costume one because I'm actually on Wednesday, I'm getting my hair done to look like rogue. So that's kind of exciting uh, for me. And so I, I have the, the jacket finally came in. I'm still waiting on the boots and the belt. Uh, so I'm not going to have the full costume, but you kind of only need to see like waist up. And so that video will probably be out on Thursday, excuse me, Thursday, <laughs> I'm getting hiccups or Friday. And I have a few other like fun videos I have in the work on top of covering like regular news. I'm just kind of try stuff different and like stuff that I like on top of, you know, talking about current events and stuff. But I am planning on reviewing all of the Visions episodes. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. But everyone, thank you. Ah! Knock something over. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Like always, smash the like button. Leave a comment after this video uh, is done. Let me know what kind of stuff you guys would like to see on this channel. And uh, until next time, everyone, have a great rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really going to need it. Bye, everyone. Bye.